So I'm going to give you some more information about question, a question five type question where you summarize two texts. And I'm going to talk to you about bugging the question. And then we'll look at how to actually write the question in the next video. So uh, this is one of the types of questions that you see in your English GCSE. So we start trying to kind of prepare you for what to expect for that um, a bit earlier on. And for this question, you need to condense and summarize information from two texts that you have read. So the question is worth four marks. You ideally need two ideas from each text. You must write in full sentences, but you don't need detailed explanations. So you don't need PEA sentences where you analyze. You literally just make the point and include the evidence and then move on. You make it clear from each, uh, which text you're referring to. You use two quotes from each text and you short embedded evidence. And that's how you would get four marks if you did all of these things, okay? Um, when you condense something, you may take something larger and make it smaller. So you're condensing the information from the both texts. And when you summarize, you take the most important bits out uh, and write them in a shorter way. Okay, so they're the skills that you're practicing in this question. So on slide 15, we've got the question um, that I want you to answer today. Okay, so in both texts, what reasons do the writers give against changing the law? Okay, so both texts are against the law being changed. What reasons do they give? Now, you don't have to compare them. You don't need to say writer one does this, however, writer two does this. You just need to say text one says this and this, text two says this and this. Okay. Um, but first of all, we're going to bug that question. Okay. So, how do you bug a question? Um, you box the command words. Okay. Then you underline uh, the keywords and then you go back, um, double check that you haven't missed anything and plan what you're going to do. So, how would we bug this question? Okay, well, we look at the question and first of all, we think, what are the command words? Okay, so in both texts, what reasons do the writers give against changing the voting law? Now, command words in English are a little bit different, um, but where is it telling me what to do, basically? Okay, that's what I want to look for. So, in both texts, okay, so I'm just going to get myself a little box. Where do I find shapes? Um, Good box and you can draw him around there. And I'm going to make it so it's got no fill. And I just make that a little bit brighter. So in both texts, so box that's it's telling me that I have to use both texts. Um, what reasons do the writers give against changing the voting law? Okay, so I'm looking for reasons. Um, I'm going to copy and paste this one. I press Control C and then Control V uh, on my laptop then to copy and paste that, but I'm sure you know how to copy and paste. Um, so in the box reasons, because that's what I'm looking for. Um, and then I'm going to underline against changing the voting law because that's my focus okay so that's my key words that i really really want to focus on okay and then i'm going to go back i'm going to double check i've definitely read that right oh i'm also going to box four okay so if i just get that box again um four is telling me how many um quotes it's expecting so i know that i need to include four ideas four quotations um and that they have to come from two different texts Okay, so I'm going to just do a box and four. So that's good that I went back and checked because I hadn't done that the first time. Um, okay, and now what I need to do is I need to go to my article and I need to highlight several short, precise quotations that show why doesn't the, the writer think that 16 year old should get the vote. Okay, and then I will do the same for text two, a like, range of short, precise quotations. So if I very quickly uh, show you how to do that. So I'm looking for reasons that the writer thinks that children or that the vote shouldn't be given. So for Brandon O'Neill, that's a 16 year old. Okay, so no teen is leaping in front of a queen's horse in protest. Now that's actually a reference to the suffragettes. One of the suffragettes did that. But you never see an actual 16 year old agitating for the vote. Okay, so I'm going to highlight that because he's basically saying it's not 16 year olds that want the vote. Um, it's other people that want 16 year olds to vote for them. Okay, so that's one idea. Okay, let's go down to the second one. Um, 
it's idiotic and ill-considered piece of legislation, but that's not explaining why. So uh, they've never been asked their opinion. And the government's crazy project of giving votes to girls and friends, the more they hear, the more they dislike it. Still don't have a reason there. Um, they're convinced that votes for flappers mean votes for socialists. Okay, that's a reason. With deadly results to the Conservative Party. Okay, so that's not really that short and precise, but I'm just kind of giving myself some ideas. So you need to do that three or four times in each article, um, and then we will look at how to write up this answer in the next video.